السلام علیکم سر آئیے بیٹھو تھینک یو سو مچ سر you have done your written part that's a good achievement thank you so much sir okay you may like to introduce uh, pakistan first you say, introduce yourself sir my name is tayyab shin bhatti i belong to nankana sahab and i am a law graduate from punjab university lahore my father is a farmer and my mother is a homemaker and i am the eldest of three siblings um, as far as my concern uh, hobbies are concerned I am fond of watching cricket matches and infotainment programs. So you are competing for the federal services. Yes, sir. Okay, tell us something about Pakistan. What do you know about Pakistan? Sir, so Pakistan is a country in South Asia. And when we look at the geography of Pakistan, in the east of Pakistan is India. In the west of Pakistan are Afghanistan and Iran. In the north, uh, there is China. And in the south, there is Arabian Sea. and when we look at the society of pakistan there are diversity in pakistan society that uh, we have baloch punjabis uh, pakhtuns and uh, sraikis and other uh, all other communities of pakistan and when we look at the political system of pakistan there is a parliamentary democracy in pakistan and pakistan is a country which is uh, first islamic nuclear country and the overall people of pakistan are hospitable in nature and they are very resilient in nature that despite having many odds they are moving in the right direction so you have done your law that is the basic yes sir it was a four year program sir five year program it was a five year program yes sir please tell me how you will differentiate between constitution and constitutionalism sir constitution is a law of land and it basically provides the overall structure of a state that there is a sub system doctrine of separation of power that there will be executive there will be judi- judicator and there will be the legislature and when we move to the constitutionalism it is basically a concept which uh, incorporate the idea of implementing constitution within a country these is uh, that are the differences so you tell me what is uh, how you will differentiate between fundamental rights and human rights yes sir so fundamental rights are given in the constitution of pakistan and it include uh, from article a to 28 of the constitution of pakistan and these are the uh, rights which are given in the constitution and they are obligatory in nature that all the rights that has been given in the constitution they must be implemented in tr- their true letter and spirits and for the implementation of uh, these fundamental rights it is upon the judiciary of pakistan that it must enforce all these rights and when we move the human rights these are rights which are related to human being in general sense irrespective of any religion ir- irrespective of any ethnicity or any area so that is the differences between the two can you describe the criminal justice system in pakistan how you evaluate it so criminal justice of uh, cr- criminal justice system of pakistan include basically uh, judiciary as well as the executive it, it start from police that uh, there is an fir uh, filed and after that the overall investigation system starts regarding a case and that very information is shared with the judiciary and judiciary eventually come to the conclusion either that person is victor uh, uh, has done uh, at offense any offense or not and if a person has done any offense and all the evidence has been proved against him so that person is moved towards the system of punishment and that punishment is ensured by the executive so that is the criminal justice of pakistan what are the fundamentals of foreign policy of pakistan the visa is the word yes sir see determinants are the fundamentals of foreign policy of pakistan basically include uh, our overall structure of society and the relationship that we have with regard to uh, islamic countries and then the third one is that the overall our geographical structure 
that how our geography is and we have the foreign policy with regard to it. And then the third, uh, the fourth one is that the overall uh, stakeholder, which are the part of society, they move toward the foreign policy of Pakistan. So these are the principal or fundamentals of foreign policy. Identify three main economic challenges which Pakistan is facing at the moment and in your opinion, what is the solution? So firstly, uh, there is a fiscal deficit that Pakistan economy is facing that the overall accumulation or the collection of wealth um, within Pakistan, it is uh, very much lower than the, uh, than the expenditure. This is the fiscal deficit. And then there is a current account deficit that the overall flow of money from Pakistan, it is more than the overall inflow of money uh, within Pakistan. And the third one is that the circular debt, that in energy sector we are facing circular debt and these are the main re uh, three issues be being faced by the economy of Pakistan. And when we move towards the overall solution to this problem, firstly, in order to counter fiscal deficit, we should have very robust taxation system. The reason of the fiscal deficit is that the overall taxation system of Pakistan, it is not working in proper manner. And it is the reason that we are collecting now very much money. And the second reason is that, uh, that is the system of subsidies. We should have the system of subsidies very much rationalized that all the uh, institution or all the departments which are in dire need of subsidy, they will be given. And those who are not in need of that subsidy, they will not be given the subsidy. So in this way, we can counter the fiscal deficit. And when we move toward the trade uh, current account deficit, we should have uh, a diversification with regard to our exports. So we, we can get more money. And apart from that, we should uh, uh, look at the overall uh, uh, outflow of dollar by regard of smuggling, we should counter smuggling. So in these two factors, we can counter current account deficit. And when we move to the circular de debt uh, in order to tackle that very issue, we should have uh, into consideration the reason which are leading to the circular debt. And the first reason is that the overall uh, transmission line of our energy sector, they are outdated. And in this way, the overall uh, provision of electricity to the consumer, it, it uh, do not move in the right direction. And the second, second factor is that the system of theft, we should counter the system of theft to deal with the circular debt. So in this way, we can uh, resolve uh, these issues with regard to economy of Pakistan. Thank you. How has dynastic politics affected this system of democracy in Pakistan? Sir, uh, Pakistan has dynastic political system that there are some dynasties who have been ruling the democratic system of Pakistan for many countries. And that is the main reason that the evolution of democracy in Pakistan, it is not taking place in the way it should take place. And in order to counter that very system of dynastic politics, the major role must be performed by the election commission of Pakistan, that there will be intra-party elections and those individuals who have good capability with regard to ruling the, our democratic system, they must uh, come in front. And all those who are having very selfish interest, they will be at the back seat. So we are very much hopeful that we have witnessed recently that the intra-party election in democratic system of Pakistan has started taking place. So in this way, we are moving in the right direction and the dynastic system with regard to our democratic system, it is somehow moving in the, uh, in the back seat and the evolution and the development of democracy in Pakistan it is taking, it has started taking place. LLB uh, background. Yes, sir. Uh, how will your LLB uh, qualification uh, help you in becoming an effective police officer? 
सर लॉ इज बेसिकली दी ओवरऑल रेगुलेशन रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी विद रिगार्ड टू दी कंडक्ट ऑफ ऑल ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड वेन वी यूज लॉ विद रिगार्ड टू दी पुलिस सर्विस ऑफ पाकिस्तान पुलिस सर्विस ऑफ पाकिस्तान बेसिकली हैज टू डील विद दी क्रिमिनल्स एंड ऑल दीज क्रिमिनल आर बींग डेल्ट इन अकॉर्डेंस विद लॉ सो इन दिस वे लॉ इज वेरी मच इफेक्टिव विद रिगार्ड टू पुलिस सर्विस ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड अपार्ट फ्राम डेट लॉ ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड्स रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन टू ओवर ऑल रेगुलेशन ऑफ एन ऑफिसर that that are the limits of the jurisdiction of a certain officer and he should uh, conduct his duty with regard to uh, these uh, stipulated guidelines so in this way law is very much effective how has police order 2002 uh, affected the working of the police so sir, sir currently i am unable to uh, recall it yes sir what do you know about customs department the working of the customs department yes sir sir so, custom department basically a uh, tax collecting uh, authority and there are basically two authorities with regard to the overall collection of money within a country and outside a country with regard to the inside collection of money there is fbr and indian revenue service and when we uh, get money from the outside uh, in the system of uh, tax and tariff and uh, all these things for that a uh, custom is very much effective and its functioning is to uh, get money or uh, collect money from the foreign uh, goods and services so that is the main uh, functioning of custom service of pakistan you know custom duties yes sir no tariff custom not tax or tariff custom duties they collect on exports on the value of exports and imports basically thank you so much what sir. is under invoicing and over invoicing so i said i am not aware what do you do in cricket sir basically uh, i am an all rounder that i do both uh, batting as well as bowling batting as well as bowling right? yes sir babar azam your is one of your personalities you yeah. like yes. why babar azam currently is not performing well what has happened to him sir basically uh, there is a controversy that has been evolved with regard to the overall performance of babar azam that while being captain in recent world cup their controversy emerged between the chairman of cricket pakistan cricket board and the captain that uh, all the input that captain is giving to chairman of pakistan the chairman of pakistan is not taking into consideration that uh, all these things so that is basically a psychological impact on babar azam that he is not performing well and apart from that um, it is overall we have seen in the history of cricket that all the people uh, who used to be very much good with regard to cricket there comes a period on them that they are not performing well american constitution to amend uh, amendment of american constitution uh, is uh, is uh, is american constitution rigid with regard to it uh, amending the constitution or flexible so it is rigid in nature firstly because uh, there is a very much complex uh, amendment system uh, of constitution of the us how many amendments have so far taken place so 27 amendments in the us constitution and in pakistan so 25 25 yes sir welcome to csps academy for css pms preparation css pms tehreeri imtihan ke tamam mazamin ki online aur on campus taiyari ke sath sath subject selection assignment checking class test mock exam इंडिविजुअल टीचर डिस्कशन और फीडबैक सेशन का इनका किया जाएगा इसके अलावा एफ पी एस सी की तजवीज करदा बुक ऐसी बने मैरी नोट और सी एस पी पब्लिशर की बेहतरीन बुक्स मुहैया की जाएंगी तैयब शाहीन भट्टी योर थ्री ऑप्शन आर पी एस पी एस पी एंड पी सी एस यस मैम 
can you tell me about uh, the administrative reforms uh, suggested by Ishrat Hussain and do you agree with them? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I, I agree with the reforms that uh, Ishrat Hussain uh, has given. And basically, firstly, it is regarding the overall security of tenure with regard to the administrator. That an administrator must have very much sure about the stipulated time that he is secure and all the things are the all the plans that he has started with regard to the uh, overall uh, uh, development of state as well as people of Pakistan. So that is a good uh, step with regard to it that he is sure that he will execute the plan that he is uh, basically aspiring to execute. And this uh, second reform is that that all the people who uh, like to go towards a certain field of life, they should have very much uh, capability and knowledge with regard to it. So that is another uh, good, good step that has been given by Ishrat Hussain. And the third one is that there will be the elimination of political influence on an administrator that he can do his job without any fear and favor. So these are very good steps that and I believe uh, these all these steps must be implemented. Okay. So you have no criticism on it? Ma'am, criticism can be made on uh, certain points, but overall... Such as? Ma'am, basically, uh, criticism can be made on the uh, system that he gave that those people who uh, are aspiring to uh, join a certain civil service or a certain group of uh, civil service, they must have a uh, relevant degree to it. And when we look at the overall structure of our society and the education system of Pakistan, so the implementation of that very step, it is very much uh, difficult that it will basically create hindrance for those people who are from the scientific background that the overall opportunity to all these people it will be shrink so that can be the uh, uh, system of criticism uh, the word police yes ma'am uh, is it an acronym or is it uh, a word ma'am basically it is an uh, acronym Acronym, yes. Yes, acronym. Can you explain? So, current, ma'am, currently I'm unable to uh, recall it. Tayyab uh, Erdogan. Yes, ma'am. Uh, he's one of your favorite personalities. Can you tell me the criticism on uh, Tayyab Erdogan? Yes, ma'am. The first one is that uh, with regard to his use of religion in his politics, that uh, in order to get leverage with regard to politics, he often take the he often takes the assistance of religion, and the second one is that that his uh, way of dealing with courts, it is not in accordance with the law of land as well as the human humanitarian laws. So these are uh, two basic criticism uh, with regard to it. And the third one is that the overall personality of the Khan, it is populist in nature, that he try to convince people for the uh, betterment of his own politics. So these are three uh, elements of criticism against the Yabur Khan. Do you agree, agree with these criticisms? Ma'am, I don't agree. Why? Basically, the uh, when we look at the uh, state and religion, state and religion go hand in hand. And a person, uh, if he is implementing religion, for the overall well-being of the society as well as state, so it is a good step. And when uh, people start uh, telling about the uh, his dealing of uh, with the cause, so his stance is very much good. That he has the stance that if cause started uh, getting a separate state in Iraq, then it will turn out to be a precedent that the overall division of that very area started taking place. And the third one is that he is a populist leader. Yes, to certain extent he is a populist leader. But in order to 
get the overall Muslim community united and the well-being of people of Muslim Ummah. He is doing very good job. We can take the example with regard to the recent conflict between Hamas and Israel that he has started uh, doing very much job, good job that he said that all the damage that has been done to Hamas and the Gaza Strip, all the construction will be done by uh, Turkey. So this is a good step. So we can say though in Prama Fishai are in very much ostensibly it looks very much a bad things but in actual they are good with regard to the overall uplifting of uh, Turkey as well as Muslim Amma. Thank you. Dr. Sir. Uh, 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 what is the difference between LFO and PCU? Sir, so LFO stands for Legal Framework Order mm -hmm. and it basically firstly uh, initiates... What is the difference or similarity? Sir, so LFO basically are uh, the placement of constitution but PCO is Provisional Constitutional Order. What is the difference then? Because you are a student of law, you must understand the nature of these two things. What is the constitution and LFO or PCO? Okay, what comes in your mind when I talk about Delian League and Peloponnesian League? You read political science? Yes, sir. So what comes in your mind? So, uh, you are asking about the Peloponnesian Wars? Yes. Yes, sir. So what do you know about that? And what was the outcome of Peloponnesian War? Yes, sir. So Peloponnesian War basically uh, fought between Athens and Sparta. And what resulted? And it was the uh, win of Sparta. And that was the main reason that Plato gave the theory of ideal states. Ideal states. Yes, sir. Okay. You know that from where Plato got this inspiration? of ideal state and justice in the society? So basically he was the people of Socrates and Socrates was the main proponent of uh, uh, the system of monarchy and he was against the system of direct democracy and from Plato take the idea of ideal state. Okay, well, uh, tell me, what uh, do you think that, what Machiavelli suggested to Prince if there would be a war in your neighboring country, what should you have to do? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, in accordance with the concept being given by Machiavelli to a prince, when there will be war between the two states, the, your state should be uh, with the dead state which is weaker in nature. And the reason behind it is that that it will discourage the strong state, that it will not move towards the occupying any other country. And when we look at the our neighboring system, we can take example of India, that India is a strong country and Pakistan is a weak country. And if a conflict started taking place between the two countries, in accordance with the concept given by Machiavelli, we should be supporting the weaker state. Okay, uh, now tell that, uh uh, in European, European history, what is the spirit of age of reason? So basically age of reason uh, is a concept. In one point, yes, answer in one point, age of reason spirit. So that is enlightenment period. Okay, and age of romanticism? Sorry, sir, I'm unaware. Okay, nationalism yes, emerged sir. in Europe yes. after the French Revolution. Was it direct the consequences of age of reason or age of romanticism? It was basically uh, the consequence of age of reason. Who represented Britain in Congress of Vienna? Sir, uh, that was Castellar. And who represented uh, France in Congress of Vienna? Sorry, sir. Okay. When happened third battle of Panipat? Sorry, sir. I'm not aware of it. Okay. What is the key reason behind the failure of Weevil plan? So, Weevil plan basically uh, uh, failed due to the non-representation of people of subcontinent. What do you think? Uh, cabinet mission plan was a failure or success? So, cabinet mission plan uh, was a success. Success? Yes, sir. 
How? Sir, because it gave the idea of the division of uh, provinces that there were three groups and these include uh, group A was Bengal and Assam. Did you know that what was the idea behind sending off cabinet mission plan by the then Prime Minister of Britain? Sir, idea was basically because uh, Britain has faced uh, very much economic pressure. Very they do to not want it to divide India. But you are saying that cabinet mission plan was a success? So in my point of view that they were of the view uh, that they should divide that uh, and we can take this example. Okay, tell who propounded idea of principle of parity. Sorry sir. Okay, my last question. What is uh, difference between uh, fundamental rights and principles of directive state policy. Yes, sir. So, according to the Constitution of Pakistan, fundamental rights are those rights which are enforceable in nature. Okay, and 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 uh, these include from Article Eight to Twenty Eight of Leave Constitution. Them. And what what about uh, principles sir, of sir state principles policy? Principles of policy are basically uh, are the directives that are given in the Constitution of Pakistan to run this state. Uh, affairs and these include basically the overall structure of state as well as its relationship with the world that uh, women should be given the participation uh, in the state affairs and the relationship among the Muslim countries they must be developed by good relationship or by good foreign policy and apart from that the religious minorities they should be uh, protected and they should be given their due rights. Fine, thank you. Chale. Let's conclude it. Yes, sir. Achha, dekho, baat ye hai ke, this is the first time you are here. Yes, sir. Okay. Abhi tumare pa thoda sa time hai, date sheet nahi aai. Yes, sir. Okay, na? Abhi tumhe thodi si tiyari karne ki zhoot hai. There are few things you achhi hai abhi. There are certain weaknesses. Okay, sir. And you lucky that you have qualified the written part of the examination. ठीक है तो इंट्रोडक्शन तुम्हारा रिकास्ट करो वन पेजर लिखो अपने बारे में वन मिनट में डिलीवर करना है तो वन मिनट में डिलीवर करने के लिए अपने ऊपर दस पेजेस लिखो डिस्क्राइब योर सेल्फ अंडरस्टैंड योर सेल्फ अपनी पीछे स्ट्रगल देखो ये तुम्हारी अठारह बीस साल की पूरी है ना कैरियर उसका इंटरव्यू है ठीक है ना धैन जू एक मिनट में आपने आपको डिलीवर करना है आपने वही बातें जिनको एविडेंस से प्रूव कर सकते हैं You have got a nice personality, communication skill. तुम्हारे ठीक है, knowledge ले level जो है ना average है. Okay sir. ठीक है, confidence तो उस वक्त आता है जब knowledge level ठीक हो. Intelligent हो, sitting posture तुम्हारा ठीक है, voice impact ठीक आता है. तो हमारी जो है observation मेरी ये कि state of preparedness नहीं है. तुमने कोशिश कर रहे हो लेकिन अभी तुम उस level पे नहीं पहुँचे. जी sir. यहाँ तुम you are competing for the services of Pakistan. ये 35 years का contract है. So you need to prepare yourself here. आज कुछ दो चार महीने लगा दो एक महीने लगा लेते हैं. तो बेरल एनी वे यू हैव गोट टाइम. न्यूज़पेपर रीडिंग करो. Yes sir. नेशनल इंटरनेशनल सोशल इश्यू इकोनॉमिक इश्यूज़ और क्रिस करो. और अपनी एक नोटबुक बनाओ. Something is the PowerPoint presentation होती है ना? Yes sir. उसी किस्म की नोटबुक प्रेजेंटेशन हो. पॉइंट्स तुम्हारे पास लिखे हुए हो energy crisis पे क्या कहना है, economic challenges पे क्या कहना है, ठीक है? तो ये जरा थोड़ी सी strategy बनाओ, ठीक है? और वही करो जो तुम्हें कह रहा है, newspaper पे, option पे, आप सर बता दो। हाँ, आपकी यार जो है, देखिए, PSP आपकी second choice है, customs आपकी third choice है, इसके बारे में आपको पता ही नहीं है, police order का आपको नहीं पता, हम्म? Yes, sir. And your answer was the dynastic answer. You were talking about the criminal justice system. You were talking about it. You were talking about it. You were talking about jail. Yes, sir. I mean, one segment is also there. Yes, sir. You were talking about it. You totally ignored the prosecution. So, this is it. और जो है बाकी और भी चीजें हैं उसे जो है पूछी जा सकती हैं लेकिन वह टाइम टाइम की वजह से
कोशिश करें आप में पोटेंशियल है थैंक यू सर तो ये ये है कोशिश करें मेहनत करें आप में पोटेंशियल है लेकिन नॉलेज गैप है बहुत चीज़ें मिस बहुत मिस की हैं आपने ठीक है ठीक है सर तो ये इन्होंने आपको बता दिया पेरेंट्स का आई एग्री विद हिम यू हैव अ गुड पर्सनैलिटी यू हैव द बेसिक नॉलेज बट समहा यू हैव नॉट पुट इट ऑल टूगेदर इन योर हेड सो जैसे आपको पता था कि एक्रोनिम है बट यू डेंट नो कि किस चीज़ का है अब याद आया या अभी भी नहीं आया अभी भी नहीं आया <laughs> चलो घर जाके याद आया yes, पैस का भी इसी तरह स्टडी इट बिकॉज बेटा यही तुम्हारा एडवांटेज है और यही तुम्हारा डिसएडवांटेज है अगर इफ़ यू आर नॉट रेडी ये जो तीन सर्विसेज लिखी है इन सब के जो है ना रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस आपको पता होने चाहिए और तैयब अर्दगान का भी खुद आपने उसका क्रिटिसिज्म किया कि पब्लिस मतलब वो है और फिर आपने उसकी तारीफ में भी वो कि वो यू नो ही हैज दिस अप्रोच डोंट कंट्रडिक्ट योर सेल्फ फाइंड बेटर आंसर्स फॉर यू नो अप्रिशिएटिंग हिम अभी आपको मैंने किताबों पर नहीं पूछा You never say watching funny shows. Uh, what is the difference between funny and comedy? Well, comedy, comedy is basically funny. So write comedy. No. The word funny has different connotation. You don't have funny programs. You have comedy programs, right? And then uh, I would recommend na bhi likho to koi haraj nahi hai, because wo kahenge koi si zuban ka. फिर वो आपसे उस उन क्योंकि इतने आजकल यहाँ पे चले हुए हैं कि यू विल गेट स्टक इन इट मैम लेकिन वो हॉबीज पूछ रहे हैं हॉबीज पूछ रहे तो क्रिकेट रखो ना बेटा और क्रिकेट का सारा पता हो फील्ड कितना है कौन किसने वन डे क्रिकेट किया जी सारी डिटेल्स आपको पता होनी चाहिए फेमस क्रिकेटर्स का पता होना चाहिए उनके स्कोर्स का पता होना चाहिए ऑल दोज थिंग्स सो थोड़ा सा मेहनत करोगे यू कैन डू इट ओके थैंक यू डॉक्टर साहब नॉलेज गैप को फिल करें जैसे मैंने आल एफ ओ पी सी ओ को पूछे ना फॉरन बहुत आंसर बता सकते हैं कि सर जब मार्शल लॉ लग जाते हैं तो मुल्क को तो चलाना है जी जिस लॉ के तहत चलाया जाता है वो एल एफ ओ या पी सी ओ होता है ठीक है आप कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन लॉ के और आपको चीज़ों को थोड़ा सा ना हैंडल करना नहीं आ रहा ये तो मुझे पता था तो फिर आपने क्यों नहीं बताया एल एफ ओ बेसिकली मतलब आप लेके आए थे ना अब इसको जाके दोबारा से रिकैप कीजिएगा स्टडी कीजिएगा अब एज ऑफ रीजन के पीछे जो स्पिरिट थी वो रीजन थी एज ऑफ रोमेंटिसिज्म के पीछे फीलिंग्स थी नेशनलिज्म जो था वो आउट आउटकम था एज ऑफ रोमेंटिसिज्म का और उसी चीज़ को बेस बना के जर्मनी की यूनिफिकेशन हुई है आप इनको रिलेट ही नहीं करना आ रहा है इनको ठीक है चीज़ों को थोड़ा सा जो है ना आपके पास जो चीज़ें हैं आपका इंडो पार्क और पाकिस्तान का एरिया जो बहुत वीक है पढ़े इसको जाके सारा इंटरव्यू अच्छा करके आप एक साइड पर आके वीक हो गए तो आपके नंबर्स गिर जाएंगे ठीक है इनको देखिए कि इसमें अहम अहम वाक्य क्या हुआ हिंदुस्तान की तारीख में थैंक यू शुरू बेस्ट ऑफ लक थैंक यू सो मच